Shemot chapter 8 And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Thus said Yahweh, Let my people go, so that they serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, see, I am smiting all your border with frogs, and the river shall swarm with frogs, which shall go up and shall come into your house, and into your bedroom, and on your bed, and into the houses of your servants, and on your people, and into your ovens, and into your kneading bowls, and the frogs shall come up on you, and on your people, and on all your servants. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Say to Aharon, Stretch out your hand with your rod over the streams, over the rivers, and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come up on the land of Mitzrayim. So Aharon stretched out his hand over the waters of Mitzrayim, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their magic, and brought up frogs on the land of Mitzrayim. Pharaoh then called for Moshe and Aharon, and said, Pray to Yahweh to take away the frogs from me and from my people, and I shall let the people go to slaughter to Yahweh. And Moshe said to Pharaoh, Explain yourself to me. When am I to pray for you, and for your servants, and for your people, to destroy the frogs from you and your houses, and remain only in the river? So he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Let it be according to your word, so that you know that there is no one like Yahweh our Elohim. And the frogs shall turn aside from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people. They shall remain in the river only. And Moshe and Aharon went out from Pharaoh, and Moshe cried out to Yahweh concerning the frogs which he had brought against Pharaoh. And Yahweh did according to the word of Moshe, and the frogs died out of the houses, out of the courtyards, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. And when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and did not listen to them, as Yahweh had said. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Say to Aharon, Stretch out your rod and strike the dust of the land, so that it becomes gnats in all the land of Mitzrayim. And they did so. And Aharon stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth, and it became gnats on man and beast. All the dust of the land became gnats in all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did similarly with their magic to bring forth gnats, but they were unable. And there were gnats on man and beast. The magicians then said to Pharaoh, This is the finger of Elohim. But the heart of Pharaoh was strengthened, and he did not listen to them, as Yahweh had said. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Rise early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh as he comes out to the water, and say to him, Thus said Yahweh, Let my people go, so that they serve me. Or else, if you do not let my people go, see, I am sending swarms of flies on you and your servants, and on your people, and into your houses. And the houses of the Mitzrites shall be filled with swarms of flies, and also the ground on which they stand. And in that day I shall separate the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarm of flies shall be there, so that you know that I am Yahweh in the midst of the land. And I shall put a ransom between my people and your people. Tomorrow this sign shall be. And Yahweh did so. And thick swarms of flies came into the house of Pharaoh, and into his servants' houses, and into all the land of Mitzrayim. And the land was ruined because of the swarms of flies. Pharaoh then called for Moshe and Aharon, and said, Go, slaughter to your Elohim in the land. And Moshe said, It is not right to do so, for we would be slaughtering the abomination of the Mitzrites to Yahweh our Elohim. See, if we slaughter the abomination of the Mitzrites before their eyes, would they not stone us? Let us go three days' journey into the wilderness, then we shall slaughter to Yahweh our Elohim, as he commands us. And Pharaoh said, I am letting you go, then you shall slaughter to Yahweh your Elohim in the wilderness. Only, do not go very far away, pray for me. And Moshe said, See, when I leave you, I shall pray to Yahweh, and tomorrow the swarms of flies shall depart from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people. But do not let Pharaoh again deceive, not to let the people go to slaughter to Yahweh. And Moshe went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yahweh. And Yahweh did according to the word of Moshe, and removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, from his servants and from his people. Not one remained. But Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time too, and did not let the people go.